How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Box Boy and Box Girl. This time, however, we're not going to be starting a new campaign with either QB or QC. Rather, we're going to be starting a new campaign with Cutie, who you can see scrolling there on the bottom of the screen behind the push uh, press button to start. So, it's more like this game is technically Box Boy and Box Girl and Cutie. <laughs> It, it, but that would have been a too long of a title, so I, I understand why they didn't do it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's press a button, and let's hop into the final story campaign in this game. The Tall One stirs a third story to sink your teeth into. Without any further ado, let's get started. And immediately we get the up hook and hot power up from the new Box Boy and Box Girl. Alright, so now that we are in this story, you can see that this particular part looks very, very familiar from the ending of A Tale for Two. Hmm. Anyway, let's get started with World 1, Go Cutie! Three stages only, this is a rather short campaign uh, in terms of levels per world. Uh, it's still pretty lengthy, I think it's longer than A Tale for Two in terms of worlds, but the stages per world are definitely a lot shorter. Anyway, stage one, the min-max target is two boxes, very appropriate for the small world size. Without any further ado, let's go. The box limit is one per, and as you can see, QB has a very, uh, QD, I said QB, QD has a very unique feature. He can actually tilt his stance. He can be an actual longwards rectangle, or he can be a vertical rectangle. It's kind of cool, horizontal or vertical, doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's place a box, and then let's go ahead and place this one there. We can also hop this way, it's kind of funny. Let's squeeze through that little gap to grab our sole crown of the stage and go ahead and clear it. You can obviously see also the door looks a little bit wider in this campaign compared to uh, A Tale for One and A Tale for Two. It's actually quite funny. And uh, I mentioned before how Cutie is known as the Tall One. That's referenced in the name of the uh, campaign, A Tall Tale, and it even says it in the description, The Tall One. That gets me every time I watch the announcement trailer for this game. They <laughs> just go, the tall one, cutie. It's so funny to me. I don't know why. It, I, I'm very easily humored by things. Anyway, moving on to stage two, the min-max target is three boxes. So let's hop in. It is quite funny considering, uh, also, by the way, our target, uh, our... <sighs> Jesus. Our single box usage at a time is one, but it is quite funny how because this campaign is like, the rather the levels in this campaign are rather short, we have uh, bigger leaps into other stages on the world map. That's what I was trying to say before and I ended up saying like five different words and whole sentences in between that. I'm a little nervous though, because A Tall Tale is the campaign I haven't played the most, admittedly, out of all of them. So, I mean, I do know everything, but <laughs> how that sounds pompous. I know what I'm doing, it's just I don't have the most experience with it. 
Last time I played a Tall Tale through was when the game first came out, and it's been over a year, so... Didn't practice this one before Let's Playing, which might bite me, but we'll see. Anyway, moving on to the final stage of World 1, the min-max target is six boxes. Without any further ado, let's go. And the box limit for a single usage is two. Okay, so we're stepping it up a bit here. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and do the fancy jumping because that'll be exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is gonna have to be... Actually, no, it doesn't. I can just do that. And then I can do this. And we can also hop. I need to remember that I already have the hook and hop ability. So that's something to keep in mind right away. But we did it. We cleared it on the min-max target as well. We got six exactly, and we got the crown. That's a whole lot of worlds wait, uh, waiting to be played. However, I would have preferred if the gate opened here instead of, you know, right in front of me. And it's a really cool contrast how we're going left with Cutie instead of normally going right with QB or QC. It's a really nice contrast compared to the other campaigns. Anyway, we have some challenges, comics, and music added to the general store, which I guess it's a good thing that the store just so happens to be right here in front of World 2. Alright, so heading into the shop, thankfully our medals carried over from the other campaign, so we can buy pretty much a whole gaggle of things right away here in this shop with cutie! <whistles> Great start! Pressing A instead of B to go into the campaign. Great start. Alright, let's buy stage 3 this time. Pay attention to what I'm doing instead of talking. That's why Let's Playing is so hard, because sometimes you say one thing and then you don't pay attention to what you're pressing. Alright, let's buy Box Ship. Let's buy Ending, and I think that's actually all of the music in the game. I don't know if that's less than the previous games, but it wouldn't surprise me. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's buy this comic. Aw, Cutie looks so sad in this one. Aw. Oh, finally the hero. That's amazing. All right, let's buy this one. And uh, we still have plenty of them to go. We could buy a whole bunch of assist items, but that won't really be necessary. And I only have enough to buy one accessory because unfortunately, in A Tall Tale, you get a little less, I think half exactly, to be honest, uh, target medals for clearing the box target stuff. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, with that, let's head in to World 2, beginning with Stage 1. The min-max target is going to be four boxes. Let's go. All right, box limit for a single usage is two, and this should be fairly easy. All we have to do is uh, do this here, and I should be able to make it. Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, put that there. I'm hoping... Uh... Hmm. Oh no, that'll work. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was questioning it for a second because I forgot I actually only had two, even though I just said it like five seconds ago at that point. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to drop down, but then I was like, oh, hey, wait, I can do the horizontal one first, and then I can just drop down vertically. 
Anyway, there we go. I love the name of this world, by the way. Upstanding or laid back. It's so great. Moving on to stage two, the min-max target is seven boxes. Let's go. Not as big a leap this time into the stages, because there's five stages this time instead of three. The box limit for a single usage, speaking of the number three, is going to be three. Okay, uh, let's just drop this down here. There we go. That's one. Uh, I should, yeah, oh no, I screwed it up. Dang it. Uh, you can actually just drop down there with cutie like that, so that's... That's nice, okay. Drop down here. Get that, this, that, and hop up to reach the exit door. Nice, not bad at all. Yeah, that shortcut there with Cutie barely grabbing the lip of that opening is really, really cool. And I discovered it after like the first, when I was going for the higher rankings, I think. It might've been afterward where I was completely perfect and everything, I don't know. Anyway, actually those two statements are the same, basically, <laughs> whatever. Let's move on to stage three of World 2. The min-max target is eight boxes. And the box limit for a single usage is three, three on three, all right. Okay, uh, let's hop up here. Uh, how am I gonna get that? Uh, like this? Oh, okay, that'll work. Uh, am I supposed to get it like this, I wonder? Yes, I need to, oh my God. Whoa, that was cool. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was actually kind of easy because I saw everything I really needed to do right away. Maybe I remember more of this campaign than I thought I did. <laughs> Maybe I do, I don't know. Anyway, uh, how about we move on to stage four? The min-max target is ten boxes. Okay, we're getting a little we're getting a little dicey now. We're moving up to the double-digit min-max targets. Let's hop into stage four. And the box limit for a single usage is four. Okay, so it looks like we're uh, getting the hang of this. Ooh, can I uh, can I do this? Can I? Oh. Oh, I can, okay. Nice. Uh, well, I do have the hop, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hop, okay. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think I can make that. Oh, I probably should have done a different thing. I should have done a different thing. Uh, yeah, I screwed that up, okay. That was my bad. Uh, there we go, all right, not too bad. It was just a matter of doing what I did the first time, or in a previous stage, rather, using the boxes that way. And I still cleared it in seven, it's not like it was nine or exactly 10 for the min-max target, so I'll take it, that was awesome. And now we can move on to stage five. Stage five's min-max target is 14 boxes. Okay, so we're getting, we're starting to get it up a little bit more difficult-wise because the tutorial part of these campaigns is ramping up towards the end here. Let's hop in. All right, the uh, the single at a time limit is four. <laughs> Did I just say limit at a single? I almost said limit at a single, and then I said it anyway, so I don't know why I tried hiding it. Uh, okay, um, well, there's no other way for me to get that crown without doing that. Uh, Ooh, this is super dicey. Okay, that works. I don't know if that's what exactly I wanted to do, but I mean, I'll take it. Ah, oh, snap. Okay, just erase the box and grab the lip. I don't know if that was the intended way, but I saw my opening and I went for it. 10. The min-max target was 14, so I cleared that goal pretty handily. That was awesome.
one of the fragments of this whatever this is, satellite, rocket, I don't really know. One of those fragments has lit up, which means we need to light up the other three. However, that is gonna have to wait until next time on Box Boy and Box Girls, A Tall Tale. It's hard to say what I should even title these, because the name of the game is Box Boy and Box Girl, but yet we're not featuring QB or QC. However, before I do end off, I do now have enough of these target medals to grab two accessories, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The lipstick, mature and stylish. And the last accessory for now are the swirly glasses, enough to make your head spin. Very, very nice. Maybe I'll dress up cutie like I did QB and QC. Maybe. You'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that is gonna do for this episode of Box Boy and Box Girl, and next time QB's adventure, or rather his tall tale, will continue in World 3. Go long, Switch Hitter. For now, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.